New York Bagel is celebrating its 100 year anniversary and in honor of the special day, the <coughs> business is pledging to donate to local charities across Metro Detroit. Here to tell us about this initiative and this important milestone is fourth generation owner. His name is Phil Goldsmith. Thank you so much for being here, Phil. Thank you for having me. 100 years in business here in Michigan, that is a huge accomplishment. How are you guys marking this milestone? Uh, so we have uh, decided to uh, make a pledge to three local charities um, and just sort of in honor of the 100 years uh, to try and give back to the community that supported us uh, and helped us, uh, you know, stay open this whole time. Can you tell us about the different charities that you're giving to and why you chose those charities? Absolutely. So uh, one of the charities is called Yad Ezra. It's a, uh, a local food pantry that uh, helps those in need in the Jewish community. Uh, the Jewish community has been, uh, you know, vitally important to us uh, in our history. Uh, bagels are a traditionally Jewish food, although they sort of transcended uh, that, uh, that demographic these days, which is great. Uh, we've also partnered with uh, Detroit Police Athletic League. At League. It's an organization uh, that partners with the Detroit Police Department to help youth uh, find their greatness through various leadership, academic, and uh, athletic programs. And the last uh, organization that we've pledged to is called Fern Care Free Clinic. Uh, it's a local free clinic in Ferndale. Uh, it's operated by the city of Ferndale, and uh, the city of Ferndale is where uh, we've been headquartered, and our manufacturing has uh, taken place for the past almost 50 years. So giving back to the city of Ferndale was also very important to us. And Phil, you're also keeping teachers in mind. I know we're all heading back to the classroom. Uh, tell us about the free bagels for teachers that you're offering this year. Yep, so for years and years, we have partnered with a lot of local school districts to help them raise money for various programs by selling them bagels at a deep discount. And um, they can buy computer equipment, books, uh, class trips, things like that. And uh, last year was, we weren't really able to do it. Uh, most schools, as everyone knows, were really only open part of the school year. Uh, people were, uh, you know, sort of afraid uh, because of the pandemic and that. So uh, this year we have uh, decided to try and support the teachers who most of them are going back to into the classroom by offering a free bagel for all teachers on Thursday and Friday, September 9th and 10th. Uh, all they have to do is come into any of our three locations, uh, show their school ID, and uh, they will be eligible to get a free bagel. That's great fuel for that first day or first week right. back in the classroom. So, Phil, before we let you go, what are your top sellers this year? I'm more of a purist. I normally go with the plain, maybe an everything bagel, yeah. but I know you guys have a lot of variety. So what do you sell most? Uh, so the most popular bagels are uh, salt, everything in plain uh, for sure. Also, egg is very popular. Uh, however, we've recently introduced jalapeno, which really is uh, Ooh, starting that's to kind off, of so, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's sparking my interest yep. a little bit. Is it spicy? <laughs> so, uh, it's got a little bit of a kick. It's not too spicy, and we use sort of a, a tamed jalapeno pepper in it. But we add some red pepper flakes, which gives it a nice little kick. It's got a good flavor. So and if it's you not need too hot, if you need an eye opener and you don't love coffee, you can have a jalapeno bagel. <laughs> there you go. Yep. And Phil, where can people find New York Bagel? Uh, so we have three locations, one in Ferndale at uh, nine and a half mile in Woodward, uh, one in West Bloomfield between 14 and 15 mile in Orchard Lake Road, and our third location is in Southfield at 12 mile in Evergreen. Phil Goldsmith with the New York Bagel, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me.